Good morning, folks. We're watching a couple plasma filaments departing on the north. We've got weather, an earthquake, comet, and top science news today. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were very quiet. Bright areas don't have any sunspot umbra beneath them. Dark patches are the coronal hole structure. We're actually coming out of the previous coronal hole solar windstream right now as telemetry fades. Geomagnetic conditions are quiet and we've got about three days until the solar wind from this one arrives. We'll be magnetically connecting to it today, however. Want to quickly note a sundiving comet that came in yesterday morning. The coronagraphs were not updated when we did the news yesterday, but today they show how this one came in and dove in tight at the end. Comet a la plasma, bit overcooked. We took a large earthquake at the Pacific Antarctic Ridge yesterday. Luckily, nobody around to feel it, or really even many islands nearby to have had the chance. Weather got heavy down under its flash flooding begins along the line we showed yesterday, but it is going to be eyes on the United States tonight. This is all I've got on the wind and dust storm that blew through here literally all night long. 70 miles an hour at least as they show here, maybe more. The system is marching eastward tonight and I can tell you firsthand this one has major power to it. Eyes open tonight. Speaking of major weather, extreme precipitation, both the high and low end of the spectrum, is becoming more frequent in the records. Interestingly, the regions are more broad like on the continental scale rather than local regional where we tend to focus for atmospheric oscillations. We're going to space next. Tonight the geminid meteor shower peaks and so whenever you get the chance between sunset and sunrise it may be worth a peek out and up into the skies before sunrise is usually better. Up next we're going out to our aquarium once again this time to see how sphere takes the zoom to another level. They say we're watching a vampiric star cannibalize the other and produce outbursts. Here's the total human viewing era of the stellar neighborhood there. Motion visible over time. We're coming back to ALMA now. They recently released a ton of data on dusty disks and nascent planets. Got some more of the same here in a release from the NRAO. ESA on deck with Rosetta and Comet 67P. Months after the mission, we're still getting surprises. After initially reporting no bow shock to the comet, they have backtracked, shown it to exist, and break all their expectations, especially in how close to the comet it was finally found. Last up here, story about galactic rotation curves in ancient cosmic history behaving like we see now, meaning that they can say dark matter existed as it does now, back 9 billion years ago. But please recall that all it takes are hyperbolic stellar orbits, plasma and dust accretion, or appreciable Hall effect currents and magnetic fields, and you can easily satisfy those same curves without dark matter. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.